Okay, today I'm going to share a little tutorial using the tags that were included in the May add-on. So I'm just going to cover these both with some black gesso to get started and use some of the white modeling paste that was included in the add-on as well as one of the mini Tim Holtz tags that was also included in the add-on kit. Just doing some random stenciling on both of the tags. Now once this is dry, we're going to go ahead and hit it like a dry brush technique using a fan brush. And the first color that we're using is the Art Alchemy acrylic paint in the Rich Turquoise. So we're starting with the darker color first and I'm going to lay that down. Then we're going to move on to the Art Alchemy acrylic paint in the light patina. You can see as we're putting this one on with that black gesso, it's kind of changing color a little bit. It's a little bit purple now. And then our last one we're going to use is the Opal Magic Yellow Blue. So this will actually be a blue on the black gesso. Okay, now we're going to use some crackle paste. This is the crackle texture paste and this is clear. Just randomly putting that on there with a palette knife and wait for that to dry. Now I'm going to use some of the 3D gloss gel and actually attach the tags together. Those are the reinforcing circles that go at the top of the tag. So just hitting those with some black gesso, 3D gloss gel to attach them. And then I'll go back and hit them with the same colored paints at some point. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and use some of the artesian powder. And this is the black. And I'm just brushing that across where I had done the embossing. So I'm hoping that that goes down into the cracks of the embossing. Now that we've got that black laid down, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the waxes. And this is the Opal Magic Wax in Turquoise Satin. And this will actually be kind of a turquoise color with that black background. Then I'm going to hit randomly with some of the vintage gold wax. Remember you need very little of this. It goes a long way. Okay, 3D gloss gel again. And this is the door plate that was included in the May kit. And just using some torn cheesecloth in the background kind of just to give some more texture. That was not part of the kit, that was just something I had in my stash. stash. And then we're using some 3D gloss gel here and attaching some of the plastic domes. Um, they're art pebbles, so those are in various sizes. And again, that's another Prima Fena Bear product. Okay, this heart was included. I can't remember if it was May Kits or the one before that's the corrugated heart. So I'm hitting that with the black gesso and the paints just like we did with the tags. 3D gloss gel to put that down and then some more of the stones. Then the plan here is going to take all those stones and cover them with some black gesso. That way we can go back and hit them with some of the waxes and especially that um, turquoise wax because it will change colors when you put it on top of black. So once all of that gesso is dry, we'll go ahead and hit it with those waxes. We're going to put some art stones down as well. So I'm using the 3D gloss gel and just randomly in some of the folds of the cheesecloth, putting down some art stones. And I'm using a brush to put that 3D gloss gel down so I can kind of get it where I want it to be. And then just add the art stones. These are the larger art stones, not the minis. Okay, 
Now I'm going back and hitting all the pebbles with some of the wax. You can see how that turquoise color is showing up now. And I'm going to hit a little bit with the gold wax as well. Remember, you need very little of this. A little bit goes a long way. I know people have talked about opening their waxes and they think it looks like mold on top. And I've heard that that is not mold. That is just some of the mica separating out of the wax. So you're fine. Just mix it back in. So then I added a noted. Um, that's a Heidi Swap wooden word. Did some 3D gloss gel to add that in there. And now I'm adding some flowers. These um, are from the Swirly Dew store. And I know we've had them in a past kit as well. So I'm adding those in there, 3D gloss gel to attach those down. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some Prima flowers as well. Those are some white Prima flowers. I actually got those from Art Venture this year. And then some Frank Garcia pearls in random sizes just to kind of fill in some gaps. So I'm doing that on both tags. And then I pulled out some smaller white flowers. These are kind of like some filler flowers. Just added a couple of those into the original flower cluster there. And pulled out some Tim Holtz chit chat sayings to add to the heart so it's be brave have an open heart and own your dreams now i'm going back since that crackle paste has dried now and hitting that with the artesian powder so you can really see the cracks in that so i think we're about done there i just want to see if you can see the texture there with those cracks and all the different colors there with those paints it looks pretty good okay I think the only thing we're missing is some splats. So I'm going to add some black smooch splats, and I think we're going to call that done. So can't wait to see what you guys make.